Hi, this is Ben Shai, I'm a tourist for Rolling Stone India. So we, um, <laughs> we actually had a long-standing, you know, a, a dream of ours to actually work with people that, you know, who have made records that we've grown up listening to and, um, and so we stumbled upon this one producer through a mutual friend in the UK, uh, Richard Wilkinson, and we had a few, like two, three scratches written and we were in the process of, you know, ideating an EP. And that's when, you know, we had written Sushi Song, um, Ashwin had sent a sketch of that. And uh, we wanted to develop that further into, you know, and make it part of the EP. So, um, so yeah, that's how the the whole, you know, the song came about, but do you want to tell about uh, it? Yeah, uh, it's a personal story. Uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, mostly a personal story. It came about somehow, I keep writing songs when I'm home and uh, I send it across to Achyut and Pali and Pai and see what they feel about it as well. And this kind of clicked and uh, uh, it was very, it's, it's something that I dream of doing uh, with my girlfriend. So I think that connected well with other people as well. Uh, yeah, sushi is something that I really, really love. So why not? So, uh, huh? uh, uh, EP is called Lights. Uh, so the first track was Sushi and the second one we want to release is um, we named it Different So Beautiful uh, with you and the third track will be uh, Hearts Can Operate and the fourth one will be Love You The Same and that's called Lights and White Tears. So uh, by April and May the whole EP will be released. Yeah. Uh, it's mostly to, I mean, deals with love and heartbreak. Um, so far our themes have been around personal, positivity, personal uh, experiences. experiences, belief. So it's, you know, sort of um, more to do with love, heartbreak. Um, experiences again that we've gone through uh, in the last year, year and a few, half. Few years. Few years, few years. Yeah. Um, yeah, those are the themes lyrically. I think this time it's more lyrically like very out there, very, you know. Story driven. Story driven. Um, not really like not ambiguous lyrics. No, nope, not <laughs> not perspective. I was thinking or anything. It's just straight out there. Uh, I think this is something that we wanted to do for a very very long time. Uh, tell a story perfectly in a way that people connect to it as well. And we feel we've done a really really good job at it, like doing things. And I hope people like it as well. So far, it's been great. Actually, like it hasn't felt different from releasing music just by ourselves it's I mean, we're, the whole we're still thing. anxious we're still doing things <laughs> yeah. they are all, and now we have a team who's still anxious and doing things with us so yeah. i think it feels great so more anxiety on top of the other <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, these are more people to sign <coughs> things to and there yeah. are people doing things behind the show. and more people who knows what they're doing as well i feel yeah a lot of things. I mean, what is not to love about Japan? Technology. There's so many things. The blue light starts with the traffic light itself. Let's go. Uh, yeah, and the rabbit islands. Let's say Fujiyama. Let's say the cherry blossom trees. Let's say 100 flavors of Kit Kat. Uh, I don't know. There's so many things that I love about Japan. And uh, I mean, would love to play there one day. Would love, love to document the whole Tokyo. Would love to... <laughs> document the whole Tokyo tour as well so yeah uh, nothing to not love about Japan uh, UK it's uh, it was a first time experience for us since it's, uh, it's been a great experience since our usual procedure of recording was two to three hours a day and it was not on a timetable but this was like 12 hours a day <laughs> and continuously for 40 days including our tour which we did during the recording process also and it's i'm very excited to be going back i mean we we uh, we didn't know how many of them listened to us in the uk so the initial tour kind of gave us an expectation of what to expect from people there and what kind of, who, like who listens to us people who come there students who've gone from india back to like you know to the uk to study so there's so many people that we've met who've been fans of us like seven years ago as well it's it's more like a family reunion going back to the uk i feel sometimes so we have actually played a lot of um, shows in the Northeast. That's been one major territory for us. So a lot of other bands haven't really tapped into because 
um, you know, an artist is really receptive of English music and you know, sort of the music that we make. So um, we played a lot of shows in like Guwahati, the Blue Guy, Down Walk, yeah, all those Dank Talk. Um, and I think now, by now, we've almost covered like a good number of territories, like almost all states except for a few. Um, in India, we've sort of covered. So it's uh, at this point, it's great that you know almost in every city we have a decent number of people turning up for us. So, Uh, what have you noticed? What have you noticed? From the from the metros. Yeah. Um, like in the hospitality, like uh, the northeast. Uh, we went. We had a show in Majuli, uh, which was like we stayed for like a couple of days. <laughs> Damn, Sam, you remember? Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> so like uh, the people uh, there, like not, we can't even like. There's a huge difference. Like, we feel like oh. Well, I mean, you get to um, you get to learn about different cultures. You get to learn about how they live and where they come from and what kind of background they are from. And you get and one thing we love food. Uh, all of us love food, and we get to try a lot of different kind of food. And that, that's one thing that we look forward to every time we go into another city, like meeting people, meeting them, or like meeting new fans of ours, and even making new fans there when. When we go there and play, I mean, people might not have heard of us, but sometimes when they see us live, they come back and see us live once again. So, uh, I feel it's 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 a very important factor touring like different parts of the country and meeting new people. Like, that's one thing that we love to do as well. Very people back that way. Um, we've always been a fan of Valley, like since we discovered their music. I think it was through Just Valley discovered. Yeah, anyway. Valley introduced Valley to us, and uh, since then, I think almost all their releases we've been following. Um, and. Yeah, I mean, it was a great like song. It was like we don't do covers. We've never attempted covers, so it's um, something new that we tried out. I guess it's come out okay. <laughs> yeah, dying inside, but uh huh. Yeah. I mean, that's something that we thrive on. I feel because uh, being on road is something that we really, really like doing as a band and. Uh, that's something that we keep on doing, and so, and the other side of it is being in the studio. And we don't have a specific space. Like for instance, we are studio musicians, or we are touring musicians, or we're not like live performing musicians. I think we are a bunch of everything. So I kind of feel uh, we work towards perfection all the time, and we try to do something or the other in terms of music, or let it be the video of it, let it be everything related to it as well. Right, right now we're still thinking. Probably when I'm talking as well. We're still thinking about the next release and the next song, and a lot of things going around. So I think that's something that we don't want to stop, and we will keep doing until and unless people stop listening to us. I think, like when we travel a lot, like uh, uh, we, uh, I think we make a lot of music when we travel yeah. because we four people get together, and the sound check is the best time to make a sound. And finally, we have a lot of plans to get together. A lot of it. So, UK UK tour is happening very soon. Um, May is UK, and then hopefully uh, US and Europe to follow, which is still yeah, it's still in the works. Uh, but very excited about the the EP that's coming. So four songs. Um, that's the immediate priority, and then hopefully we'll write new music in who knows. And sometimes that could be something that commercial come out as well. So we're just waiting on everything to land perfectly and hopefully plan everything out and see what the year stands for us. <laughs>